Welcome to Data Project Hub. In today's video, we will solve a tricky SQL interview question which was asked for multiple companies. This question deals with concept of group and sequence. And the logic based on which we are going to solve the question can be applied in a lot of other questions. Now let us go through the question. So given an input table, the table name is tab underscore sequence with two columns, group and sequence. So the two column names are group and sequence. Now we have to write a query to find the maximum and minimum value of the continuous sequence in each group. So this is our question. Now let us go through the table and let us once again go through the question. So let me execute this. So select star from tab underscore sequence. So we have got two column that is group and sequence. I have created the exact same table in Excel so that we can easily go through the table and see what, what is a group and what is a sequence. So this is the input table which we saw in SSMS. So in the table, we have two column as I said, the, the first column is group and the second column is sequence. So now when we go through the input table, we can see that we have three different groups. The first group is A, the second group is B and the third group is C. But when we go through the sequence column, we can see that the sequence is getting broken in between. So when we go through the group A and when we go through the sequence corresponding to group A, we can see 1, 2, 3 and after 3 there is no 4 and the number 4 is skipped and we have 5 and 6 and after 5 and 6, we do not have 7, we have 8 and 9. So this is considered a group sequence and the second group sequence is group sequence starting with A5 and ending with A6. Similarly, we have A8, A9, B11 and C only have single sequence starting from C1 and ending with C3. So this is the third one. Now we have to find the minimum and maximum from each sequence with respect to the group. So from the input table for the group starting with A1 where the sequence is 1 and ending with sequence 3, we have the maximum as 3 and minimum as 1. So this is the values. Now coming to A5 and A6, we can see that we have the minimum as 5 and maximum as 6. Similarly, we will go through group B and group C and find the minimum and maximum from the sequence column. This is the expected output that we have to obtain from the input table. Now let us go back to SSMS and write query for the same. Let us start with a select clause. Let me comment this out first. Yeah. Now we'll start with a select clause. Select the first column that we require is group. Group and the second column that we require is sequence. And now I'm going to use the row number function. So we are going to use the row underscore number window function. And in the over close, I'm going to partition this based on the group that is partition by group and now I am going to order the result based on the sequence column that is order by sequence in ascending order. Now close this and naming the column as flag. Now this is taken from the input table that is tab underscore sequence. Let us execute this and see what is the result we are getting. We will get a new column along with the two input columns. So the new column is flag. So now we have to create a new column such that we have to find the difference between sequence and the flag column which we created. Now let us do that. Now I will take the sequence column first that is take sequence and now I am going to subtract the entire function or expression corresponding to flag from the sequence column and I am going to give name as diff. Now execute this and we will get a new column that is diff. So now based on diff and group we can create a new partition. If we go through the diff column we can see that corresponding to a1, a2, a3 we have diff as 0, 0, 0 and corresponding to a5 and a6 we have diff as 1, 1. And corresponding to A8, A9, we have diff as 2, 2. And for B, the diff is 10. And for C, the diff is 0. 
So now we can make use of this div column along with the group column to create a partition and then find the min and maximum from that particular result. So we will place this query inside a CT first. So let me give the name as flag underscore query. Yeah. As open and close parenthesis and place the entire query inside the CT query. Now we are going to write the second select clause and the column we write here are first column is group and the second column is sequence. Now we are going to make use of max and min functions as window functions over here. So the first function I am going to use is max, max of sequence. over now here we are going to make use of group and differs the partition so here over partition by div comma group and now here we don't have to write any order by close close this so this is the max underscore sequence now we have to write the second expression for min that is min we are going to do the exact same thing that is min of sequence over partition by div comma group so i am going to copy the same expression starting from the parenthesis yeah paste it here and this is min underscore sequence now this is taken from the cte flag underscore query let us copy the cte name yeah paste it here execute and see what is the result we are getting execute now we have a result where we have two new column that is min sequence max sequence sequence and group now the only thing we have to do here is to take the distinct of group min sequence and max sequence so what we can do here is instead of writing a second cte or making use of second cte we will simply make modification here to get the final result so i am commenting out the sequence column and adding a distinct over here now execute and see what is the result we are getting. Now we have a result. Let us go and compare this result with the result we initially saw in Excel. Let me copy the same thing. Yeah, this is the result we were expecting. Let me paste it over here. Now let us compare if we have the same result. Now when we go through the table corresponding to A, we have 1 and 3 as the minimum and maximum for the first sequence. And for group A again, for the sequence 5 and 6, we have 5 and 6 as the min and max. Here also we get 5 and 6. Similarly, for the third sequence corresponding to A8 and A9, we have 8 and 9 as the min and max. Corresponding to B, we have 11 and 11 as the min and max. Since we have only one row corresponding to B. And for C, we have min as 1 and maximum as 3. So this is the exact same result which we are looking for. The DDL and DML to create the table. You can directly go and download from the link provided in the description. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, subscribe for more. Thank you.